So what about, about the point of um, Greg Venter? And it's said that he just created a cell. So is this true that he created a cell from scratch, or it's just he brought a cell, living cell, and put DNA inside it? So yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, from yeah, he certainly did not create a cell. <laughs> or, uh, from what I understand, he and his uh, coworkers chemically synthesized DNA uh, of one type of uh, organism or one type of bacterium and put it in a remarkably similar, almost, uh, almost the same species of bacteria from which they took out the, the original DNA and it started to work. And that's interesting, but it's, it's kind of like saying you'll take the engine out of one car and put it into a, another car and wow, look at that, it, it works. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> It's it, it's amazing that you know the the most modest results that you know can be spun to support Darwin's theory are are uh, are uh, given so much publicity. That that's the problem. If if Darwinists were more honest and modest about their claims, you know they could do what they wanted to, but. They have the media on their side and the schools in the United States on their side, and so they they're uh, they are misleading children into thinking that the evidence for the theory is much stronger than it is. That's really amazing.